The longest journey does not begin with a single step. It begins with a destination. Without a destination, it's not even worthwhile to take that first step. And a good destination makes the journey worthwhile. All the difficulties and setbacks that might be encountered are worthwhile because of the good destination. This is essential for the virtue of hope, that we know what our destination is, we know the goal of all of our striving. Our Lord takes Peter, James, and John up to the top of Mount Tabor and he's transfigured before them. He reveals to them his heavenly glory. And he does this to reveal to them the final goal, the destination, the purpose for everything that they are about to encounter. Because they're about to, to embark on a journey. They're going up to Jerusalem to be with our Lord as he suffers, as he is betrayed, abandoned, and is sacrificed. He reveals his glory to them to guard them against discouragement, to strengthen their hopes, so that they will have firm in mind the purpose of everything that they will encounter, all of those difficulties. He's transfigured also for us. He reveals his heavenly glory to reveal our heavenly glory as well. His transfiguration reveals to us what we shall be, what he's won for us. Because we're on a journey, this, is, this life is a pilgrimage from this world to the next, from this valley of tears to the Father's house where there is no suffering. And along the way, there are many difficulties, struggles, and setbacks. We need to have that final goal in mind, the glory of heaven to which he calls us, which he's already won for us. And if we don't have that in mind, then we will quickly turn aside and pursue the false glories of this world. So the challenge for this week Spend time meditating on heaven, the glory to which you are called, the glory that our Lord has already won for you. And he's given you a hint of it, a taste of it in the transfiguration scene. Go take up those passages in the Gospels, in Matthew, Mark, and Luke. Meditate on our Lord's transfiguration and see yourself in there. See the glory to which he is calling you, the glory of heaven, and ask him by that meditation to strengthen your hope the difficulties, struggles, and setbacks of this world so that your hope will be strengthened and will be more emboldened to set out on the journey to heaven. Take the two minutes to virtue challenge. Subscribe here.